consumption. We're going to talk how we can use water, yet we cut down the consumption. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time seeing this face, my name is Priska. I'm a mommy YouTuber based in Duwala, Cameroon. To my OGs, thank you for clicking once more. We know the economy today has capsized. Yes, life now is very hard. Especially with the pandemic, everybody is trying to cut down expenses. We're trying to bring down our home consumption bills at all costs. So today's topic, we are going to hit something that affects everybody. I bet you, you won't regret. So we are just going to talk about this. Water. Water consumption. We are going to talk how we can use water, yet we cut down the consumption. The first way you can bring down your water consumption is from the way you do your dishes yeah you can decide to do it this way you put some water in a container you wash the dishes one after the other just wash all the dishes wash them all once you're done washing all the dishes you may put another water another bowl with water in there to rinse the dishes once you're done washing the dishes you can either rinse them this way i know this way it will not really be economical but it's most hygienic just open the tap at the low pressure and you rinse your dishes please open it at the low pressure and then you rinse your dishes in another container where the water will run in you may maybe use even the water to, to wash some other dishes later another way if you think this one will still use small water and you've been doing it this way, you can just wash the dishes in one container. Then you put water in another container and you rinse the dishes from there. Yeah, you put water in another container and you do the rinsing. It will take less, it will take less water, but it's not really, really hygienic. It's not really hygienic because it's best to wash your dishes from a running tap. So let's, and please don't always ignore the drops of water you allow running on your tap. Sometimes you close the tap, you don't close it well, it drips in drops and you think, oh, it's just small drops, it doesn't really matter. If you calculate the amount of water you waste in the period of 365 days, research shows it's so many gallons, like 100 gallons of water wasted so now let's talk about another way another way you can reduce your water consumption or reduce the way of consuming water is by reusing water yes when when you use water and it's not very very dirty like i just finished washing and i'm rinsing these dresses once I'm done, this water, I'm going to reuse it. How can you reuse the water? What can you use it for? That is probably the question you may be asking. You can use this to flush the toilet. Yeah, for those of us that have flush systems, you can just save the water and use it later on if it's not very, very dirty. And if you say, or if you don't have a flush system, you can use the water in other ways. You can just use it to water your compound. If you're living in a dusty or sandy environment, you can use it to water your compound. You can even save the water, maybe to use it and wash the floor. Yes, that's just a way you can use to save. That's just the way you can use or help to reduce your water consumption. Let's go to another way you can reduce your water consumption. Another way you can reduce your water consumption is by putting a jug of water. This is one liter. Yeah, just fill in the container and you put it in this flush system. 
you know it's going to occupy space in the flush system and thereby reducing the quantity of water that is going to enter thereby reducing the quantity of water that will have to be filled before the system stops flowing so it's really another way that you can use to reduce the water consumption the way you can reduce your water consumption is by closing the tap when you're brushing your teeth usually we have the habit of allowing it to flow while we are brushing so just close the tap and open it only when you need it also Another way you can reduce your water consumption is by reducing the time you bathe. Yeah, reduce the time you use to shower by two minutes if you're bathing under the shower. At the end of the month, you realize you've saved so much water. Another way, another way you can cut down your water consumption, <laughs> you won't like to hear this, is by urinating on the floor while in your restroom. Yeah. Stop urinating in the toilet pot, urinate on the floor, or do it in your bath tube because you need just maybe a liter of water to drive it away. But when you do that in the toilet pot, you, you will have to flush, and to flush, you will take about five liters of water or maybe more. Do you see, like that point. And another silly way you can reduce your water consumption is by stopping to cook <laughs> stopping to wear dresses because once you, when you cook you use water when you wear different dresses every day they get dirty and you get to wash them so if you stop cooking and you stop wearing dresses then you obviously reduce your water consumption did you just like those tips i mentioned they are wonderful right some of them you may have been applying without knowing and others i know you plan to apply them just do it and thank me later. These are wonderful, amazing, juicy content that you will show some love to your family members and friends by sharing this video to them. This is the season of love as everyone says, so just share. And if you've not yet joined this wonderful family, please check below this button and smash that red subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell so that each time I upload a video, you'll be the first to be notified. So, stay safe. See you in my next video. Love you. Bye.